en welkom op Rijtom met Renata. Vandaag is ek met Gaetan Schmidt oor Body Language 2, The Mating Game. Gaetan. Yes, Renata. My first encounter with you was about seven years ago during Rump Steak. And for the entire duration of the show, my expression was... It was awe. Total awe. <laughs> It's such a privilege all these years later to actually um, be able to interview you and chat to you. In an interview on uh, the Alexander Bars website, you discuss things in the play that, that people can apply at cocktail parties. So it's actually a two for one. You, you get some uh, great entertainment and good tips for the party. Yes, no, uh, absolutely. And one uh, critic wrote in Body Language five years ago, he said, lots of uh, useless tips. But I think these ones are useful tips. Over the past few years, it seems that you only actually do one-man shows. So is, is it, has it just kind of become a brand or do you just despise working with actors and their egos? No, it's because when we arrived here 15 years ago, when I arrived here, uh, nobody knew me. And, and we were on top of Table Mountain, not of Lion's Head, my wife and myself, and we wanted to introduce us about uh, who we were, like a little business card. And she said, what about I direct you in a one-man show? And then suddenly I said, well, that's great. Uh, you know, if the show works, I get all the applause. If it doesn't work, I can't blame anybody else. So, so yeah, I know, it's great, and it's practical, and it's cheap. Nara Bai is your wife, but she's also your director. You must be a very humble and teachable man. Yes, I'm a beta male, and it's very good like this. In the beginning, in the beginning it was very intense because we've both not complacent people. But now, after all these years, she knows exactly which buttons to press. In the beginning, when we were working together, she enjoyed very much pressing the buttons all the time. But then now, we're a bit older and wiser and a bit slower. So, Gaetan, this is now time for you to get to the and to wise. Oh. I would like you to please share with us three of your most crucial kind of observations or yeah, body language tips that you have picked up over the past few years? Well, the first one is the one that you did, and it was great. It was a micro-expression that goes very quickly of disgust. I don't know why this is the micro-expression that I love the most, it's because you're talking, you're all polite, but then you're going quickly and you're doing this. And, and yes, it's the, the, the expression of disgust that you do when, for example, when something stings really badly close by, you're opening the nostrils to identify the smell and lowering the bra to protect the eyes from whatever emanates the smell and showing the teeth to signal that you're ready to defend yourself or even to attack. So uh, the, my, one of my favorite ones is called the broken wing, that one. You know, it's a, it's a, a very female gesture. Uh, it comes from you know, like a cat. A cat approaches a bird's nest full of newborn baby birds. Beep. But then Mama Bird arrives, hears the danger, and straight away she pretends to have a broken wing. And Cat, a bigger meal, jumps, but she flies away. So the broken wing attracts the predators of the night. Okay, number three. Oh, number three. Yes. When, for example, Renata, you're talking to me, and I said, yeah, that's, that's great, that's interesting, that's fascinating. But in fact, all what I want to say is just shut up, shut up. That's fascinating, Renata, that's great stuff. But in fact, I just want to go home and watch TV. Gaetan, I'm so excited for the mating game. Okay. And thanks for your time. We're very excited. 